if that's like the end it there, so like I still have respect for you and just know that I know you. Like I know you as a human being and beside love, beside hate, I still know you. Yeah, so the inspiration for this song, why this happened to me, was I was kind of just in my feelings at the time, you know. Um, I was going through like a rough patch with like, uh, in sort of like a relationship like just afterwards and you know, I was just in my thoughts, literally wrote this at, I think it was 3.21 a.m. exactly. It says on the album cover uh, exactly what time I wrote this. It was really late and I love just vibing at night. I heard this beat, um, someone sent me this beat actually on Twitter and I was just like, okay, I can actually put all my emotions onto this. To break it down, it was, um, you know, I had this thing with a girl and uh, it went through a rough patch and then me on the opposite end seeing her with someone else on a, the in, on a Instagram, which is like, it's quite, it was just quite a toxic uh, point in my life. So that's what this is about. Why this happened to me? 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 Yeah, so this bit quite self-explanatory is basically just me like questioning myself like late at night being like why do these sort of things always happen to me? Uh, almost like that sort of God guilt thing saying why me? A sort of future where we men to be Clearer visions through your lens that I see You run my ways on the ocean you see Thinking about only you when I Z so that's me just saying like the situation we were in so this is the positive side where there was going to be a future like we had this like I almost like, had this planned in my head I had this vision of us like the love was so strong at that point like almost nothing could sort of tear you, us apart the dream where before a domino cream you're my favorite thing beside custard creams <laughs> all right yeah so like, this line a lot of people thought is either they always said like it's funny or it's like corny and it's like why are you talking about that uh, yes, uh, admittedly, it's, it's a corny line, but on purpose, and it's like, you know, I named something, something that I personally like, custard cream. Who doesn't love it like a custard cream? And the interpretation and the meaning, deeper meaning behind that is um, cream, so casual to everything around me. Uh, if you lot don't know that, then why are you here, let's be honest. Like, on some deep Wu-Tang shit here, even though we're putting this hip-hop into this sort of love-ish song. So the way it's like, way before a diamond or cream, so way before the diamonds, way before the money, anything, yeah, you're the favourite thing that I have at that point. I see you through the mirror, it seems, I'm making you smile, you build my esteem, you give me the eye, I know we're your team, we are the river to my bloodstream. So that sort of thing is like the actual individual person, so me looking at the mirror and seeing myself, but her in, in the eyes of me. So that interpretation is like the deeper meaning towards like not, it's not just about me and my feelings, but it's also about her as well. And obviously about how tight the connection was. So like a blood stream, so literally going through your veins. And also, also the wordplay with a river and bloodstream. So it's literally flowing like a river, the bloodstream. And obviously just saying the good times, like we would be laughing, making you smile, you build my esteem, like all the things that were great in that position. Destined to be together in beams. Now this one line before we move any further is like uh, it's quite the like, it's to do with if anyone's seen the film Interstellar, there's them um, beams like right near the end of the movie. That's like a dimension. So we're meant to get. It's like we're in destiny. We're meant to be together within them sort of beams, like how the father and the daughter was in Interstellar. Making moves in Shoreditch. I never had a better time. We were in a prom. I could call you man. Led and nice, we were speaking at the dead of night. That's literally the specific things that were happening. So, uh, the first time we actually went out was in Shoreditch, funnily enough, uh, in London, and like was having good times. Through the space and time, we were on another line. I could do it anytime. I'm working overtime, but I see you winter time. But then what happened to me? That was like a thing of like our positions, are obviously work, she working, I'm looking like I'm working at that time. But in, Obviously them bars were about the position, so she was working at the time, I was looking for apprenticeship. We actually met within like that work industry of getting like, an apprenticeship. And uh, yeah, that's basically saying like, it doesn't matter all of that aside, we can still do this. Now the second verse was really just letting everything out, so everything that went wrong from my perspective, not from her perspective, from my perspective, what I'm seeing, what I'm going through at this time, all the pain, suffer, anger I had in me, I just unleashed it. Ain't heard from you in a while, you did you say wrong, did I dull? I'd like to know what I've done wrong, please pick up your phone. All I'm hearing is the bleep in the tone. So that was just about like, all of a sudden, 
it's just sort of switched. There was a big switch of, I was calling, uh, no answer, no answer, trying to get through to her. And yeah, that was like difficult to be handling from that like constant communication and love into like that sort of just, whoa, like a big step back, like what's going on there? I'm feeling alone, prolific is gone, adrenaline's gone, my mind's chasing through the steps are we gone. I see him on the ground and my fucking mental state is on Another planet interstellar where their fate gone So that was about me literally seeing him, her with another person on Instagram Like you could probably meme this on the IG um, But like me thinking like and like My mental state, my mind is on another planet It's completely like interstellar, it's on a different level Because I don't know what's going on at this point Had this play wrong, can I respawn? I'm tossing turning through my troubles till I see dawn I really like that lyric because like that was literally like the pinnacle state of literally tossing and turning in bed like thinking like I can't get over this right now and the emotion of not knowing what's going on at this point so the last verse literally just summed it all up and like that almost like higher feeling at the end of everything countless nights out but I'm still thinking about you I know you feel the same but I always finna doubt you digitally yeah my thoughts yeah they break for you yeah you know you never see the angle of my view that was like the period like a lot longer as like a few weeks afterwards like still thinking about it and still thinking like I shouldn't put too much pain on my side because you never even saw my view of it and like all my thoughts they were going through through like digitally like messaging whether that's phone calls and I would let them all out and then this next line is about like the sort of uh, stepping stone from that it was uh, sort of a recovery sort of stage but one night you called me out of the blue pouring down your face yeah I cannot help you cause of the past with you I got trust issues go for another man that gives you tissues that's like so that it's pretty much sums up like don't be coming back to me now now that you broke my heart because you're having situations go find another man that's gonna give you tissues gonna wipe your tears for you because it's nothing to do with me we write for each other but i can't continue my heart is frozen feel trapped in this igloo we settled the kettle now we gonna let this brew i'm saying goodbye but just know that i know you that's like the end of there so like i still have respect for you and just know that i know you like, I know you as a human being and beside love, beside hate, I still know you. But like, yeah, there's things, there's attraction there, but like, it's just some things just weren't meant to be. Like, we settled the kettle, that's just like, obviously, and like, we can't let this brew. It's good wordplay there, because I like my tea. And like, we settled the kettle, so we settled the score, that's it. Now we can't let this brew, we can't let this go on for any longer. Still know you.